today I'm going to show you how to roast acorn squash two different ways. The first is a quick and easy and very healthy way to prepare acorn squash where you slice it and you toss it in some seasonings and then you roast it on a sheet pan for perfect tender golden brown perfection. Um, and the second way is baking a half acorn squash with butter and brown sugar for that extra decadent side dish that's just a little sweet and a little savory and just both of them pair beautifully with pork or chicken and it's just a really phenomenal way to prepare acorn squash. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. Let's get into it. Um, so obviously, as I said, we're going to do this two ways. We've got kind of um, a whole baked sweet kind of way. It's like a little indulgent. Um, and then we've got kind of a way that I make it pretty much every single week in the winter. Uh, not going to lie. So I've got myself two acorn squash. I have washed the outsides because I intend to eat it. And then we're just gonna cut off the top. We're gonna do the same thing with both of them. So I'm just gonna do it at the same time. Um, and then, you know, kind of cut off the tush. Um, you really are just trying to cut off that little nub in there. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the bottom. It's not, you know, bad in any sort of way. Um, same with this one, which we're gonna do. This is the one that we're gonna roast in slices. All right, cool. If you want, you can slice these off. You can also roast those. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Then we're gonna cut them in half. Okay, cut this guy in half. You can roast these seeds just like you do pumpkin seeds. You literally kind of take them and you separate them from their little, uh, you know, spidery stuff, webbing. Um, and then you toss them in oil and some salt and pepper or whatever spices you want to use. I don't know, pumpkin pie spice sounds pretty good to me. And then you roast them on a baking sheet. But, um, we're not here for that today. All right, so we're just gonna kind of like take a big spoon and just kind of use that to kind of carve out the center bit. Um, and then we'll dispose of this or you can roast the seeds, obviously, as I said. I find that the, you know, a bigger spoon is helpful here um, and it can give you a little bit more leverage. Um, it's just a little bit easier to, uh, to control and it'll get it all out at, you know, almost at once. Um, all right, so. We're the first ones that we're going to do. We're going to do the sweet baked ones. If you are, you know, annoyed that it's not laying flat, then you can kind of slice that and evenly, you know, you can even it out if you want, um, but it doesn't particularly bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and place these in my roasting pan. Um, I'm not, you know, you can use any roasting dish that you'd like. You can use a baking sheet. Does not matter the vessel that you choose. Um, what's important is that you have your squash. Um, and then I'm going to take, I've got about a tablespoon, obviously, of um, light brown sugar here, and I have kept it in its little compact state to make it easier. Uh, and then I'm just gonna take a quick pinch of kosher salt, and we're gonna salt the whole thing. Um, don't forget, you're salting everything inside as well. And so, you know, just a, a generous sprinkle of kosher salt is what is called for here. Um, and then I'm gonna do just a sprinkle of cinnamon. I'm just gonna lean into the kind of, um, you know, sweet potato casserole type flavor vibe that we've got going on. Lean into it. And then I'm gonna get butter, because I forgot it. The particular amounts of things that you use don't really matter, right? If you want it to be sweeter or less sweet, use more or less brown sugar. Um, if you want a buttery, decadent situation, use more butter. Um, it's really, this is, this is one of those things, this is not pastry, this is just your personal preferences, and you can always adjust it after the fact, but you can't take it away. So maybe start with less and then, you know, move into it. So we're gonna do about a teaspoon of butter in each of these, and that's it. I know. Um, we could like try and mix it together, but there, there's really no purpose. We are gonna take this beautiful thing and we're gonna place this in our oven and we are going to 
let her bake. <laughs> my oven is set at 350 degrees convection. Uh, these can be baked anywhere from 325 to 375, even 400, honestly, not convection, regular. So, you know, whatever else you have going on in your oven, this is the least, um, the least important priority. So I have a chicken in my oven and she has to be at 350 convection. So that's what these guys are gonna bake at. Same concept for like Thanksgiving and just meal prep in general. Um, these are the least common denominator, so. Now, obviously it's gonna take about, I mean, 30 to 45 to cook those completely. So sometimes, you know, you don't have that kind of time, right? Um, so for me, every, every week essentially, I like to make it, um, make squash like this. So acorn squash. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my guys over and then I'm going to slice basically long ways, right? Um, and then I slice them, you know, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch thick. I like to slice them too thick because then uh, it takes longer to cook. And you know, I've got a lot of other things to do. So just make sure you know where your, you know, fingers are at all moments um, when you're slicing the squash. And just be, you know, careful and conscientious that you don't slice them. Because uh, you need to apply a bit of pressure, right, to, um, and the last one you can kind of flip over if you like uh, to get that. Now I'm going to grab a parchment piece of parchment paper to line my baking sheet so that I don't have to clean it. Um, you can toss this together in a bowl um, or you can just do what I'm going to do where I just don't even want to clean that extra bowl. So I just go ahead and um, I just line it up on my baking sheet. Now what this also does is make sure that you get all the surface area for browning. Okay, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat with this one. All right, so we've got ourselves our butternut squash. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil and I'm just gonna kind of like do that. It's usually, it's about two teaspoons in total um, that I'm using. So if you wanna measure that out, that's totally fine. Um, and then we're gonna do a pinch of kosher salt. So just kind of sprinkle it from up high so you get them nice, like, you know, nice coating there. Um, and then we're gonna do just a pinch of pumpkin pie spice. This is also awesome with just cinnamon. Um, you can also use my um, apple pie spice, which is nice. Um, if you want a different variation, um, but I just also kind of sprinkle it from above to kind of get, you know, um, get a nice little, get it everywhere, right? So the, the concept is not to make it, you know, sweet or taste like pumpkin pie or anything, but there's just like a little something extra, right? Um, and then I'm gonna flip them all over. Now I don't redo the oil. That was kind of the, the total amount of oil that I use. Uh, and then, but you can use more oil if you'd like more oil. And then I just kind of give it a nice season on this side as well with the salt and just a little light dusting of the pumpkin pie spice. So just a little, little something for everyone here. So these can bake anywhere from 350 to about 400 to 425 um, uh, non-convection. My oven is set at 350 convection, which is kind of like 375 regs. So I am, this is kind of, kind of I'm pot committed. So I'm gonna pop this in there at 350 degrees convection. Um, it's probably gonna take 20-ish minutes. Uh, really depends on your oven, your oven temperature, and where you place it in your oven. So the goal is to make it nice and soft and tender, um, but then also get that nice golden brown. So in about 15 minutes, we're gonna check the bottoms. If they started browning, we're gonna flip them over um, just to get a nice even browning. All right, so our squash are out. These, after about 15 minutes, I covered the whole thing with um, foil and then just let it continue to bake. Um, I wanted like a little bit of brown on the top and then I covered it to kind of steam and cook a little faster without drying out. These bad boys, I mean, they were done in like 25 minutes. Um, after about 15, I flipped them over. Um, my oven was like a little low to get that beautiful brown um, on the first side because of the chicken. So I popped that up to 375 and 
and got a little bit more browning on the second side. So, I mean, really you've got your two options here, fast, like weeknight, um, and then like a little bit more decadent and buttery and mm. So, without further ado, it's time to try. And it's like lunchtime, so it's perfect. Um, so these guys over here, really simple. Like, I mean, I love to roast these and then serve them with roast chicken or even just, you know, my like kind of foolproof chicken. Um, they're amazing with pork. Um, so like roast pork is just, it's just phenomenal with it. Um, pair yourself like a little apple butter. You've got yourself quite the treat. Um, but I also use them cold the next day in salads. Super easy, like super versatile, just a really fun way to cook it. Um, and just like a really great way to continue to use it throughout the week, um, for different dinners, but also just like a fun fall salad. Mm, yum. It's like soft and sweet because the squash itself is sweet and like with roasting it, it kind of like brings out those flavors. Got like a little bit of that hint of cinnamon, a little saltiness. It's just like super savory, like a little hint of sweetness from the actual squash. So it's just like a really beautiful, healthy way to prepare um, acorn squash. And then over here, we've got our acorn squash that have been our boats, if you will. Now with these, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fluff it, almost like you do with spaghetti squash. And this is gonna mix in all of those, that kind of that pool of butter and brown sugar that we've got going on in the center, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. And then just kinda, you know, work your way around. If it's hot, maybe hold it with, um, you know, some tongs or something like that. Um, and you can of course serve it just like this. So just go ahead and kind of mix together all of those things that we had in the center here. If you want to add some toasted pecans, yes, I see you. Um, and I am here for it. Uh, you can also just kind of taste it, season it again with some salt, um, a little cinnamon if you want. I mean, more sugar. All right. And then we've got that. So we've got, obviously it looks like this when it's, you know, you could just serve it like this. Um, you could slice it and serve it with its own kind of buttery um, sauce, or you can kind of mix it up, um, serve it almost like a puree, or serve it in the half, in the half shell. Acorn squash in the half shell. Oh, yum. <laughs> My goodness. It's like just a hint of butter and a little bit sweet from the brown sugar. It's not overpowering or overwhelming. Um, and then it's nicely seasoned with the salt and it, like a little bit of cinnamon in there to just kind of like hint at, you know, fall seasoning, just like a hint. Wow, that's really, I'm just gonna, so good. 